guys, it's Laura and today I wanted to share with you my filming space and setup. So let's start off with my filming space. I do live in an older home, therefore a lot of the room space in this home is quite small. This is in my bedroom. I'm not going to show you the full room, but I do want to kind of just give you an idea of the space that I'm able to use. So with this being said, I've kind of used about a fourth of the room for my filming space. If you were to think of the room and divide it in half, there's one section where the bed, clothing, shelving, all that. On the other side, I have an oversized chair with an ottoman and my makeup cabinet. For my makeup cabinet, I do have a video on that I will link for you below if you're interested in seeing that more in detail and how I kind of have everything organized in there. But for now, we're going to just kind of move on and I want to show you how this kind of converts down. So it looks like a cabinet. It's actually a writing desk that I've converted to be able to hold off my makeup. So in, when I'm not using it, it just looks like a cabinet here hanging on the wall. When I am using it, the front actually leans down and becomes like a very tabletop setup. Now in this little bit of the corner, about the fourth of the room that I use, here on the door you can see I have my coats hung up. These do come down for filming. I'll either take those down or I'll just slide them to the side that way they're not in the shot, but they don't stay there. Also underneath this makeup cabinet, I do have an ottoman as mentioned before, and that is what I use to sit on while filming these videos. Let's jump to setup. So for my setup, I it was very basic, very easy, very quick, but it wasn't the best and it wasn't the most efficient. So as you can see here, I used not one, but two shoe boxes and a small, I would probably say a mini table tripod, which held my cell phone. Now for obvious reasons, this wasn't the best, but it's what I had, it's what I was able to use. So just know that it is possible to make videos without having the equipment. It just may not be what you're necessarily wanting, but it can get the job done. I will say I did not like using this small tripod because I found a lot of times with my phone it would actually be a little bit too heavy and I was so afraid that it was going to tumble and fall off. So I wanted to get something different. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to this old setup and hello to our new setup. Now as you can see here I have a new sturdier tripod, I have this camera rig that holds not only a microphone but also my lighting source. That is one thing I did not have before. I just used natural lighting which the windows in this bedroom are higher up so it's not like I could sit directly in front of one and use that lighting but I did what I could. But here we have a new lighting source. So as you can see not only does this look sturdier, it looks a little bit more professional but it makes you kind of want to get this equipment out to film. Alright guys, so that is my current filming area and setup. Thank you for watching if you are still here spending a few minutes with me. Let me know what kind of equipment you use, if you use any at all, and I will see you next time.